So here we are in Affinity Designer and I want to do some rotation of this object. And if I go to this transform thing here, I can change the rotation of it by selecting these things here and select that one or that one and select the top left hand corner or bottom right hand corner, whichever. And then I go to this uh, rotation tool here and I can move that across. I'm doing this with my Apple Pencil now, just moving it left and right across there and it's turning it around, but it's going around just the bottom right hand corner of that object. Or if I want to change it and have it on the top left hand corner, again, I can do it and I can change this where it's rotating from. But what if I want it to rotate around something altogether different? So let's backspace that, so put it directly in the center again. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go to this tool over here, which is the point transform tool. Personally, I think this should be part of the transform thing. Now, if you look closely on this here, I've got this little dot here and I can move this dot around. And this is the center rotation for that object. And I can put it here in the center. And I've got some guide there to snap it directly to the center. And what I can do now is if I do Command and J to make a copy of that there, then what I've got to do is just got to grab one of these points here on the object. So I grab that and move it around. Well, actually, I started holding the Shift key down there. If I grab that and move that around and hold down the uh, Command key, it'll stay the same distance away from the center of rotation. If I hold down the Shift key at the same time, it'll do it in 15 degree increments. So 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees and so on. So let's leave that one at 45 degrees. Now, if I do Command J on this one here, normally when you do a Command J and then move something, it'll do a smart copy of the previous object. If I do Command J of this now, it just leaves you where it is. You can't, it doesn't actually do a smart copy of it, move it the next 15 degrees around. So what you have to do again is you have to get the uh, corner of the, um, the object. Let's put that down there, put the center rotation in the middle. And now I'm going to grab this here and I'm going to, what's going on there? Okay, so let's try and grab this now. So I've got this um, there, I hold down the command key and hold the shift key down. And I've got it going around in 15 degree increments again. Now the best thing to do after this one here would be to grab these three objects and then maybe I'm going to group them. So do command G on that there. And then we'll go back to this tool up here. And uh, what I'm doing, I'm looking for the center of rotation on this here now. And I've got the center of rotation, dragged it and dropped it into the middle. And now I'm going to do the command key and drag this around here, except I've got a copy of it. So let's just put that back where it was. And I'm going to do command and J this time. And now I'm going to grab this here and move it around with the command key held and also the shift key. And it's going around 15 degree increments and I've got around that, that around there. And then to finish that circle off, I'll have to do the same thing again. In a, an arc to go around the circle there. If I move this in and I move it so that I'm going towards the center, the objects get smaller. And that's, at the moment, if I hold it onto that line, it's snapping to that line. And I can keep it onto that line there, so that's quite good. And if I come outwards, the objects get bigger. So let's uh, take it in, make these objects go smaller, and let go of it there. Now I'm doing Command J on this one here, and then I'm going to grab it, and then I'm just going to move it around again. So, and if I move it around, if I move it around, so I moved it around there, and I've got it across the other side there. I'm holding the shift key at the moment as well. And I can move this around here, for instance, if I wanted to. So if I hold down the option key, if no, if I hold down the command key, it keeps in the same, same distance away from the center rotation. If I let go of the command key, I can move it outwards. And as I'm moving outwards, that they're growing bigger as I grow outwards and they'll grow smaller as I move inwards. And I can get it to do shift and I'll get it to go to the line opposite there. Okay, so that is the uh, point transform tool and it doesn't work quite the same as the rotation tool. And I say, I think it's in the wrong place. I think it should be part of transform and you should be able to move the point of the center point of rotation to wherever you want it, such as we moved here in this case into the center of these this uh, document here, 
when I've got the guidelines set up. Okay, this is Dave Allen. I'm Good and Geeky, showing you how to do some rotation of objects using point transform. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon. And by the way, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want more tutorials like this.